for Kingwin versus Dignitas. And look at Dignitas starting on the T side. It's their map pick, but apparently these CT sided maps are T sided today, as we saw on train and maybe we'll see here again on Inferno. Fox trying to stay alive. Chinses that reload out with a quick switch and will take down Schneider with a headshot. So two on two right now, but Kirby still in the pit. So that's a hard position to get people out of when you don't have that utility. And well, Kirby stays alive. Pimp brings down Fox, and it's 1 0 for Dignitas. See, there was a little bit of that peak psychology from Fox there at Arch that I liked, that I was talking about. Or, you know, you peak, like, you choose, is someone going to peak me? Am I going to hold this wall? Am I going to peak wide again? Or does he think I'm going to peak wide? I like that. I like it. What about you, Vince? Do you like it? I like it, mate. I like it. Really? Okay. I think there's, like, a, a, there's a finer medium that could maybe be reached. I feel like I'm Tom Cruise right now. Like, I just got the people going. <laughs> about, the, about the star and Top Gun, too. You start to jump on sofas and stuff and <laughs> go mental. Yeah. Okay, Who's so going to be my Oprah? What I want to know. <laughs> oh my god, that video is so funny. Well, two Mac 10s are filtering in through into this round, and MSL's picked up three kills with his. That is money in the bank. And, uh, well, I don't fancy Jacob's chances in this one versus four. Easy. He's got Kevlar. Ooh, that's going to be uh, a bit of a pain in the backside for MSL, but he only drops a Mac 10, I guess. It could have been worse. Look but yeah, second one. That was oh. Rip. Uh, just for the record, I know you're a very uncultured pleb, but it's actually Yakum. Wow. So it's a soft England, England's had a history of xenophobia, you know, going back to the 15th century, yeah. so... They, we, yeah, they speak English the way that they, they read it in their minds. So it's uh, Yakum. I know, it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? You're very oh, upset, I can tell. I've, I've been lied to all this all this time. And Rainier. 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 Kanye's little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the resemblance in the little cartoon uh, profile picture. See it, that strong jaw. Yep. All right, so walking into the stack, I mean, Kingwood could not have hoped for more. And look at all these frags coming out. Four down. Now it's just Kirby. What? Oh my God. They walked right into the stack. No information gathering. Possibly no Fs given from Dignitas, and they'll take an L because of it. I mean, you know, apart from the fact that it was a stack, those was some beast shots that they were hitting. Pretty much everyone, you know, that was full Kingwin mode where you, they, you know, it's that round where you get that USP kill that's super nice, and like everyone gets one. I think there is merit to just grouping up for a B hit like they did, Vince, but uh, Metas, whatever your name is. <laughs> <laughs> Vince is fine, no problems. Yeah, I agree with you. It's kind of unfortunate they walked into the uh, the grinder, so to speak. This round is more of the same from Rain, with three frags. Looking for a fourth, not going to happen. Kirby's there. In fact, he picked up four that round. He's on for the ace if he landed that onto Kirby. Great individual effort there from him. And now Kirby is looking for more. We'll pick up a second frag. Wasn't clean though. And there we go. Fox is there to pick up the pieces. Did take three weapons away from Kingwin, but they'll be able to replenish those without any issues. Uh, pretty important as well, I feel, for them to pick up those two rounds. That's rough. You can't trade one player. You know, uh, Rain is was is a beast. He is, was, always will be, I'm sure. But yeah, getting four kills there, shutting down the entire rush towards him. I mean, the fact that there was a smoke down directly benefits him, but only if he's watching it, and even still, it should be fairly easy to trade, but he absolutely destroyed them and almost uh, got the ace there. I was very close. I'd still clip it. 10 out of 10 with flashback. <laughs> got it. Uh, 10 out of 10 wood wall bang. Uh, got uh, one smoke has been used here from Kingwin. It went down a, a couple seconds ago, so not throwing any of the, the base of banana smokes off the start of the round yet. Here comes one, and I don't know if they heard a noise or what, but look at all these jumps just flying out of the apartments. I think Meta's had a good uh, line for that at Cluj. Did you not, Meta's? Was Dude, I have the memory of a goldfish. Wasn't that you? The, the, it's raining men when they were all jumping out yeah, of the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was train, though. Oh, it, it was, was train. train when they came down pop. Did you do like a little wiggle in your chair and then do the I did, like jazz I did the hallelujah as well. I started <laughs> half singing. It was painful. It sounds amazing. Did you cry afterwards? I did. Slightly. <laughs> Not out of my eyes, though. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> A pretty, a pretty UK humor. You must be from uh, Bristol or whatever it is, where they oh have like God, really. No, I'm from Newcastle, <laughs> mate. It's the other side of England. 
I mean, the other side is exactly the same as the other side to me, so I don't... Yeah, right. That means nothing to <laughs> me. Assist. I'm done. I can't work <laughs> under these environments. <laughs> Matt, is this too big of a star now? Can't work with us anymore. Makalele in pit. You can see Schneider and Kirby trying to maintain that apartment's control here for Dignitas. Over in Banana, it looks like it's going to be AZ and MSL. AZ's taking some damage, and Pimp is just holding on to middle. No ops coming out yet here on the T side. Still just sticking with the rifles. As You know, you got the first two rounds as Dignitas walked into a stack. I mean, and then the next two were pretty much Will It Blend Inferno Edition, and yes, Dignitas will blend. Uh, they lost those two rounds, and, well, finally getting into another rifle. It's been three in a row here for Kingwin, and they need to get off to a pretty solid start here. They, they want as many CT rounds as possible. Pretty yeah, it's much pretty dollars. Indeed. That's the thing, isn't it? But I suppose they do have Randall's coming in, and if they get the bomb plant and some kills, they should be good to go here. But you can see only three smokes remaining with 30 seconds. They're cutting this fine. The bomb is still residing in Banana. And two players still on B side, with Dennis actually moving up there as well. So this could be a next level call. 20 seconds. Are you uh, going to switch around the bomb in the last second here? Oh, through mid. So fast. oh my goodness, wow. the rotations are real from Kingwin. It's only going to be Makalele, but that may be enough if he can land some more headshots. He's not able to, so Bomb will go down. The two players in Banana, I think, have also been neutralized, or at least one of those players has. And now a 4 on 3 retake. Oh, look at MSL. He's trying to make that dash to get into the boiler room. I can only assume Rain will catch him off guard. He'll go up into the apartments, and you've got one pit, one graveyard set up, and it's Pimp and Graveyard who will bring down Rain. Now peeks out of the port side, finds Fox, and a quick repeek onto Yakum and Pimp. Whoa, actually, the... His pit wow, player went 1v3. down. I didn't even notice. Yeah, Pimp surviving all alone there and finding a 3k to win the round. I don't know what... what okay, Dignitas like barely won that round, apparently, as uh, Pimp just had to clean up for his team, but um, got into the site trading one for one and got everybody else to rotate to B. I mean, they pretty much threw what I'm going to call a launder's fake, and that's when I go play a pug and run to the other site and say, I'm going to I'm gonna go fake the site, and that means me throwing two nades over and then run back to the other site. And that's all they had to sell the fake. They had four players ready to go A, and they caused the rotations perfectly. Like, Kingwin bit on that so hard. Um, I'm trying to think of a funny joke to add on. So, <laughs> Joey, help me out. <laughs> I was saying, maybe leave the jokes to us. I mean, the fake really only works, though, just because the, the t clock was so low. I think that's the only thing that helps sell that. They've no, been on that no so hard either. they need dentures. Oh! Because it's a fake. Oh my god. Super hot layers. <laughs> Trident layers? <laughs> so it's tied up. MSL's gone down in this round, and. Well, where we go from here, Metas? Well, we go through Schneider, apparently. He can pick himself up more frags, but. Only the one. This guy's been pretty big today for Dignitas. But G2 King wins seem up to the task as Rain is starting to shift through the gears. 11 for 5 for him. His uh, friend, partner in crime, Yakim, is on the B side. Did I say it right that time? I hope I did. Mm -hmm. Wonders. What's Dead. up? Yakim. He wasn't listening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm done. <laughs> Analysis guy not even listening. It just ignores so us. done right now. AZ push it in either way. Got a decent crossfire down from Kingwin. 15 seconds or thereabouts on the timer. So they have to get these frags quickly and concisely. There's the first one, but Fox comes in with two frags. That pretty much seals up the round as far as I'm concerned. The bomb may very well get planted from Pimp in the nick of time, but he's being forced down. We saw he was capable of a 1v3 before, but that was post-plant scenario. And uh, yeah, G2 Kingwin will pick up the round. As you mentioned, finding those kills quickly was what would make the difference there. And if you want to execute really late, like... You know, there's something to, say, to be said about how Flipside not only execute late, sometimes they don't execute into the proper site, but always manage to find the two kills somehow. And that usually is because they convince the other team to play very awkward positions as they come in, um, maybe a little bit more aggressively than they would like. But G2 were able to stay outside of the site apart from their one player, and I think that's what made the difference there. Whoa, Yakum, and he's got a friend. I can't quite even tell who that was. Is that Fox? Coming down there with them. Yes, it was. And they just straight roll over. Dignitas. Yeah, analyze that, Londers. Inferno needed a, a new middle, and it just got paved with the bones of Dignitas. Morbid. I like it. You do see a lot of teams doing that, though, right? Just like forcing down, getting a ruthless aggression in. Dignitas now on an eco. 
with uh, Deagle on QB with a flashbang. Narrowly missing out on that one dig. Makaleli has an AWP. Re peeking may not be the greatest of ideas. But G2 King win again, playing pretty aggressively in Banana. They had three players stacked up there, one of which is Yakum. He's now going to push himself back over on that A side. Oh, Dennis. Dennis gets caught in transition from behind a pip. That's a big frag. And now maybe they can just funnel through onto the A side. Makaleli's here. There's the spray down through the smoke in a second as well. He's looking for a third. I think he just caught a glimpse of Kirby. The Molotov afterwards keeps him at bay. And this allows the rest of the G2 King would line up to push over on B. That was looking so bad when Dennis got picked off. But from there on in, it was one-way traffic in uh, King Win's favor. Yeah, that first shot from McAlele was pretty hilarious. When, uh, like, he sees the one guy on the edge of the smoke, right? Continues spraying. Another player tries to slide into uh, the moto little area, moto pit, whatever people want to call mm -hmm. it these days. It just got shot straight in the face. And here we are into round 10. Quite unfortunate. Good smoke there from McAlele. Dennis actually caught a flash and saw a player chasing him. Ran all the way back as soon as possible. Well, I don't know if he... But yeah, he wasn't trying to get caught off guard there. It was fully intended to run back, but Big House ate, made a beat a good flash. Wow, what a hold. Yeah, I mean, just trying to take top of Banana with the guns, right? I didn't even, even notice a pop flash or, or nades or anything coming in. And maybe that's just because Dignitas can't quite afford them. 4K for Yankum. You think this is a game where Dignitas don't do well T side and then come back on CT? Like, it seemed like they were really slacking, like, CT side last map, came back to just dominate the second half. Uh, what should be the harder side? On this side, I feel like it'd be close to impossible to throw a CT round if you, uh, you know, didn't give up some ri uh, ridiculous entry. Unless you get outplayed, like, the over rotates that you know, Dignitas has caused and, like, they're one right front, they've won. Um, but for them to go in the second half, I feel like their 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 performance on T side was so impressive that um, they, I expect fully expect them to win this round, especially being their pick. Yeah, yeah, I, I can definitely see it coming from that. What a one dig from AZ. Uh, I mean, this is a map that they are much more um, experienced on. I would also say recently the the top level of play Inferno, of course, their choice of map. And so I would expect their CT side to be much more potent than their train side was. But we'll just have to wait and see. This round is oh. still going to be shaping up nicely. Schneider catches one, not a second. But there's MSL with the AWP, and now it's all on Yakum. Um, but the fact that he got the frag on Schneider, they know roughly where he is. But the bomb has been dropped right next to his feet. This is going to be a pretty tough play from Dignitas. Neither of them have Kevlar. Yeah, this is actually super interesting. I mean, from Yakum's perspective, he has a huge opportunity here to win a 1v2. And same goes for Dignitas, except they've got to figure out where he is. And oh, he runs right into Pimp. You know, you, you want to take that risk, make it a 1v1, and then go from there once you get spotted. Unfortunately, wasn't able to meet um, part part one of the plan. But uh, man, I, I feel like it was like if Schneider just had more patience there, you know, instead of taking that first Tech Nine shot, dude ran right by him, was about to run all the way up mid, and he had the bomb. He could have waited for both people as he heard the footsteps, and instead killed the first one, peeked out to kill the second, and uh, and then just gone B. But I think played a little bit too reactionary, maybe a little bit too quickly. All right, so finally Dignitas get a second rifle on the board. The only rounds pre pre previous to that were the pistol and then uh, that one anti-eco in the second round. And it looks like they've started off well again. They've got a trade going, MSL for Fox. So it'll be four on four and four rounds for Dignitas. Can they find a fifth here as they will have the advantage on this round? Kind of bunched up in banana, but they seem to be spreading back out. Again, maybe trying to force G2 King win into that kind of over-rotation that we saw earlier on on this uh, half. There's still a lot of time to play with. And Rain could be the key man here. The flash comes through, doesn't affect him, mainly just affects the terrorist. He must realize this, he's hearing the footsteps. And he pushes through, no one was watching the back, or at least Daisy was, but he didn't convert that opportunity instantly. <laughs> and now Makaleli's by himself in pit. He's been spotted by two. He's got a player come around behind him, but Kia being AZ again just rinsed through G2 Kingwin. It's all on Yakum and another one versus two scenario. This time it's a, a lot more difficult, I'd say. Well, actually, I say that Kia being AZ are both very low. Yeah, it's still retaking onto A1v2, though. Oh, and he will spot Kirby, takes him down, jumping at hitboxes. Oh. Hallelujah. Kirby is down. And Yakum, I mean, how many times have we seen him in this uh, situation? I think back to the pistol, a couple of the other rifle rounds, and that smoke leaves a bit of a gap. AZ, will he have the confidence to cross back? I mean, he has to at this point. 
found another smoke there. We'll be planting on default. 7 HP versus the 98 of Yakim. He'll push through the smokes. He just spots AZ somehow through a bit of a gap there. And he gets to defuse. Oh, that was such a nice shot in the pit. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Does, doesn't matter if that play is like high HP or whatever he was. I think it was like 10 or 15. That headshot is going to put you down. No one sees Very the health bar in the edit. Okay, when they make the edit, no one Indeed. sees the health bars. Exactly. You know, can I only assume one, it's not 100 at that point. That's why I got that, uh, that one before on NIP on Dust2 that one time on Complexity back in the day. Yeah, you know, they were all low. No one noticed, but it was still <laughs> it was still super impressive because it was more about uh, him out playing them. But that shot in particular um, was uh, really nice. That's when you wish the gravity was set to... Uh... 900 instead of 800. Or maybe you C don't. CL backspeed. <laughs> 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 I thought that would have went over better, but here we go. Dignitas uh, still keeping uh, forceful with it. Kirby onto a Galil. Does still have some utility. I mean, the more useful of the nades, right? A smoke and a Molotov, especially here on Inferno. Yeah, can play on the first oranges, but Schneider just opening up the site. Dennis from CT and Rain getting a kill actually in middle. Shuts down Kirby who was lurking over there. I think either top middle or in boiler. Uh, so three on three. But the site has been taken. So another retake. And Dennis tries to go in a little bit quicker. Maybe even without his team. Or it was just found out in the site. And now Makalele will move in. So right back into a two on two. And again, fairly winnable. Rain coming in. Does have a kit. But he's caught from behind. There's Pimp. And will throw the nade into trash. 41 damage. Or HP rather. That's what... He has took about 30 from the nade, and around this smoke, Makalele will win the dance-off. So smart for Makalele there. Did Lowy... Did Lowy... Did Lowy... <laughs> I'm not even going to finish that. Uh, that was going to be a joke. I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's pretty, some, some pretty standard Inferno play here. I mean, it's going like back and forth. The King would come in with most of the rounds. I really like that play that Makalele did with the smoke. Uh, where he tossed it to the left to make sure that he'd smoke out the banana player and then just flash through it so that he could kill whoever's in pit and take that, you know, uh, take the risk of jumping in a pit. But even just getting there and finding no one's there is a really good position. So I thought that was a very important um, and good play from him. Well, that flash was not as effective as they think it was. In fact, it didn't do anything, but it won't matter. Yakum only finds one. Then the Tech 9 surprise brings down Yakum and Fox. The rotations come in from Kingwin. Player advantage though to Dignitas. And here comes another retake. Dennis gets the kill pretty cleanly, but then gets absolutely destroyed from Pimp's tech loan behind the car. Makalele and Rain desperately want to pick up this round. If they can keep Dignitas to four rounds, then this is pretty solid CT half as far as G2 King would are concerned. But it's going to be very difficult to do that. Makalele spins, turns around, doesn't want to get flashed by his own equipment but unfortunately it didn't matter three players are able to hold on for dignitas 9-5 and king win will be on an, a force buy in this last round i feel like it's just way too call us to be so aggressive on banana when it hasn't worked so many times um and you know g2 are basically forfeiting rounds when they have to when you any team uh it loses two banana players at once you are conceding you know basically telling your a players to go and save because it's so hard to retake, takes so much time to get there, bomb's gonna go down, five players alive especially, it's like, do you even really want to try that? But here they are in this round with a force up, um, and uh, another B rush, and again, decided to play like, really aggressive, and this time low nades and like, you know, 5-7s and stuff, so I can see why maybe they tried it, but at the same time, I also don't see how it would work that well. Did they just throw three smokes at CT? Oh, what a flash from Dennis. Peeks out. Yakum got a kill in a very similar fashion from the Sandbags. That one from the CT Cross, so it's gone back to a 3-on-3. Three three. Fox still on the site, but with that 5-7, can't quite shoot over the ledge. So Pimp will bring him down. Now it's Makalele in range. Just Makalele now. He'll move through again with the CZ. Takes down Kirby. What? Pimp just killed Schneider. Pimp wanted another shot at a 1v1. Plenty of time here. Pulls out the Tech 9. Hits the head of Makalele, bringing him down to 11 HP, surely. And I don't even know, how many bullets does Makalele even have? There can't be that many. 17 still in here. For the Mac-10, but King win! <laughs> or the Mac-10. Shoot so fast, that's what I think it is. Tech-9 will fall to the CZ. I've got no idea what just happened there at the end of that round. 
<laughs> you should you should watch that back and put Benny Hill music on it and it would fit perfectly. Yeah, pretty much. I don't even. Did you see that team kill from Pint? Like he's he was lining up. I think it was Makaleli and Schneider just like walks right in front of him as he takes the shot. So unfortunate. But it does come down to a, a ten round. Uh, half for Gamers 2 King with Dignitas with five about the way the map should go. How do you feel from this point going forward, Launders? I was uh, fully using the wrong talkie. I was like, why are oh, you yeah, interrupting so, me right so now? <laughs> 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 why? No, but um, I was just going to ask Vince actually what how he would have played that um, 1v1 out. Like, okay, Pimp got the dink, right? Onto Makalele, and then Makalele is like running around at this headshot level. So it's like, are you, do you go for another headshot? Like, how do you make it so that you can just do 10 damage to him and end the round? I do feel you push like out from new box? Joey had the right idea. He's against the CZ, so he knows there's limited ammo there. Maybe just keep baiting out the confrontation for a little while longer. Mm -hmm. You know, just keep peeking, shooting, peeking, shooting. Because he had 40 seconds or thereabouts when he died. So he had plenty of time to play with. Personally, yeah. that's how he'd done it. But of course, that's with the hindsight and 2020, 2020 hindsight and all that kind of stuff for the bird's eye view of the, the game in the heat of the moment. So Whoa. Sorry <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's awesome. <laughs> you what, mate? <laughs> that was, that was uh, solid. Weird. Yeah, I wanted. I actually wanted to kind of switch over to look at Makalele to even see how many bullets he had. But apparently Whoa. enough was the answer. Look at Rain. Going to bring down Schneider and AZ. And the A site will will belong to Gamers 2 Kingwin. All your bomb sites are belong to Kingwin. But oh, Kirby dear. on the retake and turns around to bring what? down Makalele from behind. Oh. Also taking down Rain. Kirby moving in with the big three came. MSL's also helped him out. And it's actually just Dennis. He's got two guns. Two guns versus two guns. But Pimp will win out with the 5-7, and what a Should ridiculous performance from Rain, and then Kirby's like, oh, you think that's good? Watch this. Nice game, Mac Lily says. So ambiguous, so mysterious. What does it mean? Should I'm we call it salt right now. How, Metas, how did it get burned? So do we call KJB KKK now? No! <laughs> no, we shouldn't do that. I see or what just three clay. Or just I mean, three clicks Kager. Yeah, get what you're trying to go for, but... The poor choice of words, bro. Uh, yep. Or letters. Letters. Yeah. Metas. Letters. <laughs> Sorry, letters. Metas doesn't know the difference between letters and words, confirmed. I am English, after all. Play it with scrubs. It's true. Oh, look at this again. Inferno's getting a lot of, uh, a lot of repaving done here in, in mid. I'm still in shock. 3k from Schneider, should we call him, <laughs> should we call him ZZZ because he's sleeping on these kids? Oh, uh, that's not nearly as offensive, so no. <laughs> okay. Gotta go for the shock value. Here's, here it is. Here it is, boys. The, the rifle round of the second half. It's coming out. If you change the word on to with, then I think it would have been pretty messed up. Yeah. What did you just say? Did you just speak English? What did he say? No, I got him. I wasn't English, mate. I'm following <laughs> <laughs> I'm following him. Meta speaks seven <laughs> languages, don't you know? What did he say? I. It sounded like such an like it sounded like such pragmatic speech in a British accent that I had no idea. Maybe you should watch some uh, some more Top Gear so you can understand your co-caster. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> so Makalele's already gone down. Taking the toss now on the CT side again, winning the first two rounds of the half. So I mean, we we have that data now for Dignitas. They've won both pistols. They lost the third round, though, in the first half, and it does look like they're in a pretty good position to get it here. Sorry, I was having a coffin fit there. So, uh, either way, 53 seconds, yeah, as you say, I mean, the Makalele being picked off. Again, they've got decent enough control over mid, but the issue isn't necessarily getting this far. It's the next step. It's the execution onto the site. That's going to definitely help, Matt. That's when Yakim comes in with two frags. There's rain as well. And G2 Kinguin is starting off very well in this round. Uh oh. Pip misses the shot, pulls up the 5 7, not going to get anything done, and that's long Kia B. We saw him pick up a <laughs> sick 3 man before. <laughs> that spam is just infinitely better than when I face, uh, put my face on my keyboard. That just looks does so much Does he type really fast, or does that make sense? No, that is definitely just smashing the keys. ASDF, JKL. I feel like technical issues, so he's kind of frustrated. Maybe his keyboard's yeah, my broken. quote unquote <laughs> keyboard's broken. <laughs> yeah, because he just punched his fist through it. <laughs> 
I mean, that was a big whiff from Pimp. Like, it almost, I mean, pretty much could have cost them the round. There's too many variables after the point to say it definitely cost them the round, but it certainly didn't help. No, yeah. Because it, it would have been still, a 2 on 2. It would have been 2v3. Two 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 yeah. two two v... two. No, because Pimp would have got the kill and still been alive, so it would have been a 2v2 two two instead of a 1 on 3. Okay. Yeah, okay. Very crucial then. Huge. That's round changing. Yeah, so you can imagine. Gosh, why don't I speak why all of the languages? It would make casting so much more fun. He said lag. <laughs> so I understand. What's up? Don't know lag. There you go. Yeah. Internet drops. Hey, thank you. Oh. Man. Oh, that would explain it too, so. Uh, that's a very um, elaborate excuse. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, his situation pales in comparison to that of CLG last night, who would just, uh, they'd all lag up to 200 ping every time the phone would ring in their gaming house. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when they were playing a... Winter Fox, I had three people from Europe, so it was like an NA match, and everyone had 150 ping plus, except for two people. <laughs> That's like an old school DDoS right there. Yep. Just give him a, just a call. It was, it was pretty funny. Oh, I'm laddering against you? Like, I'm playing Launders on Brood War 56k? Let me call his house real quick. <laughs> Let me see how Launders' uh, mom is And doing. I pick up. And it's a twist. What's up? What's up? GG. Oh, the standoff. This, okay, this standoff, this is psychology. Max 7's got to win. You assume someone's going to come clear apps and oh. I didn't even hear that shot. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't hear the Max 7 shot, but I heard, like, the pump action. That was weird. Yeah, me too. So four on three right now, Dignitas having dropped that again, having dropped the third round. Like no way, I thought that was possible. They had a five on four advantage for so long, and I mean some technical oh difficulties God. causing some problems. Dennis better back away before he kills himself with that grenade. That timing, though. Yeah, he took so much damage for it. I mean, it's a win already. Info stays alive. Four v three, abs control. One on banana though. This is the right side to go to. Thirty seconds left. Best chance to win here. A lot of pressure right now on MSL. Oh. I can understand why he'd be holding the angle with the CZ, but yeah, yeah just kind of unfortunate that it got checked. 3-3, three three, Kirby with the, uh, oh, the M4 yeah. spraying it through. Oh, digs him at the end. Damage to Rain, but didn't do enough to take him down. They do have a defuse kit in the hands of AZ, so this is still doable. The issue is there's only a flashbang between the three of them, and it has just been thrown out. So Makaleli holding the position with the AWP, gonna pick up the first one, peeks round and Rain with another two. I have to say that Rain's been stepping up huge here on Inferno. 24, six assists and 14 deaths. Like, this guy's an animal. Yeah, that is the great thing about having like such good individual players on your team, is like they can all just step up. Like, Dennis last game, Dennis got to relax this game. Yeah, kind of in vain got 31 kills. Um, I think a lot of them weren't necessarily impactful in the sense that he didn't win the rounds, but then, you know, they were very close. I mean, they were 1v3s, not supposed to win them in the first place, but quite often would get 2 out of 3 or even 3 out of 3 and still would lose. McAlevey um, almost killed his teammate if he would have taken that shot. But yeah, that was very close to, not you know, them not being able to plant. But they did pick the right site there. That was a good call to go be in that situation. Yeah, so Dignitas. I mean, it's so much harder to get the, uh, like the winning the first two rounds and losing the third looks bad in the in the first half. But at least you were on T side where everything's cheaper and you can get going a little bit quicker. But to have it happen on the CT side is absolutely disastrous for your CT half, and they're on an eco. But look at that, AZ does find the Juan Diga on the Fox Yakum coming back with a six hundred dollar frag onto Schneider. And we do have two people still posted up somewhat passively, actually quite passively in the B site. I don't know if the stack is going to be big enough, though, since they just have USPs. And yeah, Rain will bring down MSL. Well, they expect the other man to be there. That is Kirby. And yep, they do. Rain will find him. Another 2K on the round for him. Brings his total up to 26. He is the top fragger in the server, as Metas would say, by a country mile. Well, Matt. <laughs> I'm not mad. I actually like that expression. Yo, yesterday yeah. I walked 18 kilometers home at night. Jeez, dude, at night. Yeah, it was it was like a really good night. Good, nice night. I walked from basically like the outside of just the outer limits of like downtown Toronto to the main like street that I live on downtown. And my legs are I can't get up actually. It's kind of like I'm in a wheelchair right now. <laughs> <laughs> to be completely frank, like if I had work where I had to move. If I had work I where I had there. to move. All right, guys, we're round 21. That means it's going to be the classic Sevo. Get up and do some jumping jacks. <laughs> Run around the room real quick.
Launders can't partake. Not one of us. Smoke down Shows. banana and three people to be, so. This is crucial here, Joey. Right, this is pretty much do or die for Dignitas, I feel. Yeah, it is. Uh, their CT side is uh, within uh, inches of collapsing or falling over the edge, whatever you want to use. No up. Only one defuse kit. They're already expending a lot of utility. Only one smoke left. It's, it's not looking good for them. And look at this from Kingwin as well. They are pushing in aggressively. Schneider on the balcony. He's going to have to do work and he gets picked off. There's AZ though with the M4. And he's looking for more players. That flashbang completely neutralizes him. But luckily he can just hide behind the box for a few more seconds. But this exchange well and truly going in the favor of the terrorist. The bomb is about to get planted. No, it's not. Kirby manages to snake his way around with the M4. 50 seconds. Bomb will now get planted from Fox and all the pressure on Kirby. And he will try and push through that smoke. Surely he can't pull this off. And there we go, Makalei lands the headshot, and I feel that probably is the hopes and uh, dreams of Dignitas' Inferno slipping away. Yeah, fair enough, and it has it has slipped by very quickly. One thing that denoted what would what seemed like a comeback for Dignitas in the last map was winning a pistol. Um, and they did actually win it um, in this half, but from then on, actually, from the third round on, just could not uh, could not do it any further. That's so uh, That's so interesting, actually. Yeah, it really hurt that they lost the third round in both halves after getting the pistol. I think it's this intense pressure that Kingwin have put at the top of Banana. Um, in the last few rounds, the rifle rounds, like we would have like Rain posted up there or Mac Lele posted up there just holding spools. And almost all the time when they stand there long enough and no one peeks, they're able to call like a late round B and it's almost always the right time. So, look at the, the bomb. This is... Coming up the, the top of middle, it's already on the A site completely, and it looks like Dignitas are kind of just content to play a retake situation. They had five FAMAS. The bomb almost went down 5v5. It will go down 4v4, as there was just a, I mean, Pimpin and Makalele going down. Rain moving into the library, who will bring down Schneider. Kirby there for the trade, and it's virtually the same HP between these teams in a three-on-three, -three. but of course, it's the CTs that have to make the moves. They've got a retake. Fox brings MSL down. He tries to push the smoke, and Kirby will just run away with those Crimson Web Shadow Daggers, and will move behind the APC here. And, you know, saw a lot of posts come out the other day about those uh, sort of invisible, what do you want to even call it, like hitboxes on, uh, on that APC? Um, I, I just want to say, like, I don't think there's, like, I don't know what you think, Metas, but to buy five Fomuses and spend all your money on, like, half armor of is like, never a good buy, in my opinion, because mm -hmm. you don't have anyone with utility, you, I don't know, you can't win a retake 5v5 with no nades, so, like, how do you end the round if you, if you can't even watch your choke points because you don't have a smoke, and then when the bomb goes down, you have no ability to, like, um, cut off your angles when you retake. Completely agree. And you saw the Dignitas realizing that, try to position themselves into to like weird off angles and things, and then doing so, King would just push right through mid, got the bomber from there on, and it's easy. I'd have preferred even like a Mag 7 or a 5 7, you know, one of the hands with, with armor so you could get more of that utility. But here we go, Dignitas trying to save this round with uh, two players now, as MSL just got picked off by Makalele and Kiyobi, who has been pretty good these last few rounds. Like, he's been chugging along getting frags. He's one of the last two remaining players with Pimp. And just as I say that, of course, he's going to miss the spray down and get picked off. So it's all on Pimp now. And what do you reckon, guys? Are we going to see some highlight-worthy stuff? No, we're not. That's going to be it. Kingwin pick it up 16-7. Wow, well played. I'm curious to see what Rain's HSP is. I don't know if you have that stat. But uh, I just brought it up. Rain's HSP. Where is Rain? Is... Do you want headshot kill percentage or just headshots overall? Um, well, what's what... the headshot kill percentage, I well, think? Yeah, you want H H H K. Uh, sixty-two percent for rain. So of his twenty-nine oh. kills, sixty-two percent of them were headshots. Very respectable. And even beyond that, just twenty-nine head twenty-nine percent headshot percentage overall is, is the highest. Also in the server, pimp had twenty-six. Uh, but by and large, the H K percentage of sixty-two is absolutely insane. We had another. What was the next highest? Fifty. Oh my God! Actually, A Z. But he only had twelve kills. And that. All right. Can I be salty about the previous major mm -hmm. real quick? Mm -hmm. um, the whole headshot kill day prediction, player prediction, was so stupid because obviously yes. the less kills you have, then the higher your headshot percentage is. Like I think didn't the player that won have like a hundred percent, but he only had four kills. Like so uh, dumb. So that's why A Z is so high. 
Because, like, you can't count every bullet because, you know, wall bangs, smoke shots, spams. Yeah, victory spam. Yeah, so you can't count every bullet, which is the tough part. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't really, think that should really have been rough. put in whatsoever. But, yeah, AZ with the highest, but also with only 12 kills compared to that of the 29 kills, 62%. That is absolutely insane. And, of course, you know, we got to look for these big indi individual performances because, you know, we've got to pick a, a player and... Real quick, um, I have to remind myself of what day it is. It is Tuesday. In uh, two more days for the, the MSI Player of the Week that we give the award out to on for North America and Europe on those Thursday days. Uh, we had Bubble for e-fragging contention for a little bit because he was so nuts in the first series that we saw him in metas, but then he kind of simmered off in the uh, the mm -hmm. other two e-frag best of twos that we saw. So now we're kind of looking at... Uh, I mean, Dennis, right? It's so hard to pick because Dennis has that train match, 31 kills or, or close to that, but they lose. And then now Rain with 29 when they win. Um, yep. I don't know if someone was maybe in the middle of the pack twice. It, it, it's hard to uh, to pinpoint a player. I think Makaleli was uh, both games like, quite consistent. And I just like to draw attention to two stats. One is that Rain had an ADR of 141. Mm -hmm. Like that, that is ridiculous. Oh my and God. Secondly, Makaleli had four 1vx's so like four situations where like he was up against it and still managed to get work done which is pretty impressive stat even though 20 for 11 you know it's still a respectable score but not quite the rain uh score line but that adr man that blows my mind yeah that's that's absolute beast mode um that's like like for those of you who aren't really like familiar with like how to read stats or like what's considered very good like basically everything above 100 adr should be considered exceptional and so, like, 140 is out of the blowing everyone out of the water exceptional, especially versus good players, which is also a factor, honestly. Like, there are a lot of games where you're farming kills versus teams who are, are a lot worse than you, you just feel very confident against. Um, Dignitas shouldn't be one of those teams. You know, they lost a map just now um, to them. And uh, Rain, you know, playing very, very well versus a strong team. All right, so you can't see in this recent result, didn't quite go in yet. Six entries. So, sorry, I left the stats launder, so I didn't mean to cut you oh, off, no but I did, so so deal with that. So you meant, okay. Uh, so Dignitas, <laughs> having played the most games, we can see now, that the most recent series hasn't quite gone in yet, it will uh, in probably a couple minutes, but 7-1-3 and three now, I believe, is what it should be with the ties for Dignitas taking train, losing their map pick up Inferno as the map split and went the other way, which is weird. Uh, and then Gamers 2 is going to be 5-1-2, and two. so you can see this was a, a pretty high-profile matchup, both those teams splitting points in the top three, so I guess it kind of stays within the system of, of those the, the top three positions. So that'll uh, make the gap a little bit smaller, I guess, uh, for a team like Flipside or Hellraisers. And uh, definitely Mouse Sports, as those are the real next contenders uh, that are going to be trying to, to get into the top three. Uh, I, was, I was believing in Efrag and, and Penta for a little bit, uh, but just not quite enough. And it looks like they will stay more or less in the middle of the pack. They'll have to... Uh, stay stay there, of course, to avoid that relegation to have to play in the pro placement tournament for Season 9 up against either Lounge Property, Copenhagen, Sententia. Those are the teams that are down there right now. Uh, but we do have more games coming up today, guys. So we'll get out of this one in a second as what do we just have? Kingwin Dignitas. We've got Hellraiser's flip side coming up next. And then uh, Sententia Mortis versus uh, flip side. So ending the day with the flip side double header. We hope you'll stick around here. And of course, if you guys are looking for tickets for the land, as we talk about the teams qualifying for them, if you want to go to the MLG.TV arena in Columbus, Ohio, it's November 6th to 8th. You can check it out and find a place to buy them on MLG.TV slash play Sevo. And I don't know, you guys got any final words before we hop into a, to a break? I love you both. <clears throat> what are your words, Launders? Just a throw clear? Um, yep. Okay. We'll be back, guys. So. Stick around. <laughs> 